pay attention at all to this cooking food video space, you surely know of Grant Crilly and the guys over at Chef Steps. They do great work, love what they do, respect them a lot, and if you follow them, you'll know last week they came out with a video on how to make a boiled omelet. Thought it was really interesting. I wanted to give it a shot. The recipe is behind a paywall on their site, so I don't know the real method that he uses. I made it a couple times on my own, came up with my own little method, and uh, that's what we're gonna make today. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna make a little riff on his version. So here's the idea of this omelet. You get the water boiling, you beat your eggs just like you would any omelet, and normally I don't season my eggs beforehand, but with this you sort of have to, Then you drop the eggs into the water. It's gonna start to sort of cascade in there. It should form eventually into some sort of homogenous kind of omelet raft. You have to cook it until it solidifies to a certain point. If it kind of is a soft scramble, it won't hold together. So you cook it to a point where it solidifies and then you strain it in a little bit of a strainer. What I've got is a bowl to catch some liquid, a strainer on top, and then a little towel to help shape the egg into an omelet. And we're gonna stuff it with a little bit of bacon, a little bit of provolone, and then that's gonna be how we make it. It's very much like a French omelet and made in a different way. I think it's really interesting. Dropping it in that boiled water is like it instantly souffles the egg, an extremely light version of a French omelet, essentially. I don't know how practical it is on an everyday basis, but I thought it was interesting. I wanted to share with you how I make it and uh, just respect to chef steps. So let's just jump right into it. First, I chopped up some chives, just super fine into like a really nice dice that we're gonna add as a garnish. Then I got some bacon that I chopped up really fine. What we're gonna do is crisp that up into a pan and throw that inside the omelet as well as on top. The omelet is a little soft, so it's nice to have a little bit of texture in there. And then we've got the provolone. He uses the American cheese. I don't really like using American cheese. I have some provolone in the fridge, so I'm gonna use that. Use whatever cheddar American cheese you want. And then for the ending, we need that fat in there, which we never cook the fat in, so we rub it in butter. Give it a nice little glisten, and then we can finish it with some nice salt. That's it. All we have to do is sort of crack our eggs, scramble them up, go over, cook our bacon, and then we cook our omelets. I just got a pot of boiling water over there and uh, a pan to cook my bacon. So let's just go and get that done. <laughs>
It's weirdly pretty delicious. And this is exactly the time I'd use that Malden sea salt, that big crystally sea salt. And we're trying to get some nice salty flavor in something that was cooked in, you know, a subpar way for seasoning the eggs. Really gotta get the seasoning on a little bit before and a little bit after. And this salt works really well. Other than that, it's light, fluffy, moist, cheesy, delicious eggs. There's a little bit of unwanted water. On some level, you can't really avoid all of that, but you can do a good enough job of kind of squeezing it out. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how practical it is, but I think it's an interesting method. Somebody who likes their eggs really light and fluffy, this might be a really interesting method for you. The guys at Chef's Table do really interesting things. They think outside the box, and I like that. Are you gonna make a boiled omelet every time you make an omelet? Probably not, but it's always interesting to explore these new methods and see if there might be utilizations in other ways. So whatever, I'm all for trying this stuff out if you want to give it a shot i'll link my method up down below otherwise make sure you go give uh, chef steps a view and try out a boiled omelet let me know what you think about that will you ever try a boiled omelet do you think it's silly do you think it's cool what do you think share your thoughts down below let me know what you think next episode we're going to do a little bit of a football a theme it's a big game for the giants playing thursday night so we need to make a proper meal. And we're making buffalo chicken lollipops. A little bit different than my buffalo chicken recipe, but just a little bit of a, a twist on it. That's all that I have today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.